All right, we are back, and if you're just joining us, we are Awesome Games Done Quick 2014, hosted by Speed Demos Archive and Speed Runs Live. It's a charity marathon, and your donations go to the Prevent Cancer Foundation, saving lives through cancer prevention and early detection. We have a $75 donation from Nekai, who says, thanks for making this the most entertaining work week in a long time. Putting this towards saving the animals from all of you horrible people. Keep being awesome, everyone. We have $10 from David Hopta, who says, I've been watching all week, and it would be wrong of me not to contribute after all your hard work. $50 from uh, Ross Piper, who says, Hi, all. Haven't been able to catch as much this year to, due to work, but I've been dropping in when I can. Keep up the good work, guys. Andrew Nash donates $35 and says, I've been watching as much as I can and have probably already donated more than I told myself I would. So here's some mo more money. Ananda Kumar donates $50 and says, Shall we gather for whiskey and cigars tonight? <laughs> Jean Massiet says, I'd like to thank Mr. Ev... MV for the great job he did this week with the French restream of AGDQ. And yes, shout out to Mr. MV for his great French language restream. Order Smari Johannesson donates $15 and says, Thank you, Slot. Thank you, Slot, for an entertaining and informative Dishonored run so far. It's the run I've been waiting for. Go, 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 go. Daniel Bauer donates $50 and says, thanks for the great stream and the great event. And just a reminder, we are coming to the end of the PC block means it's also your last chance to donate for the, the great uh, limited edition Tychus Findlay statue donated, donated by Blizzard. It's a $50 buy-in, gets you into the drawing for that prize, in addition to any incentives you allocate your donation in to towards. <laughs> exactly. Mark Stewart Hamilton donates $20 and says, as somebody who runs Dishonored themselves but hasn't seen anyone else's run, it's fun to see my time most likely get beaten by someone doing a longer category.
Ebbs? Yep. Okay, all right. Um, there's not yep. going to be a lot of time to say this during the run, so just before I start, there are two things I do want to say. Uh, the first one is just a shout out to Choco Pop-Tart. He was originally going to be running this here, but unfortunately he couldn't make it to the event. Um, the other thing, I just want to explain what this category that you all donated for actually is. Uh, the no escape route basically means I cannot come back to this room you see me in here. Um, and with that, basically this map is going to fill in as I play. Um, and if I return here, I can warp to any point in the game that I've already been to. Um, so that cuts out a lot of the navigation in this game, which is one of the main components of it when you're playing it normally. Yeah, uh, so I'll be doing a bunch of the commentary because he has to focus on doing some of the, the stuff. Uh, but commentary might be a little bit disjointed just because it's a really short run. Yeah, it's extremely short. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. Um, okay, I'll so three, two, one, go. Okay, so here he jumps. Mm -hmm. Yep. So it's, it's actually kind of hard to do commentary for this game because without playing it, you pretty much have no idea what's going on. Yeah, right now he's walking through some, uh, there he goes. So if you oh, see that circle, well, uh, yeah. he's, what he's supposed to be there. doing is looking at those and walking backwards, um, but why would you turn around? Right. We're going quickly. Yeah, so this game's got a lot of weird mechanics if you're not really familiar with. Right? Oh, that was right. Um, such as things where you have to walk and things backwards or mm. things will change depending if you're walking or jumping or... Basically, yeah. the whole point of this game is to make you really confused when you're playing. Exactly, it. yeah. Oh, yeah, and like you'll like go in a room, turn around, it's a totally different room, go yeah, in a yeah. circle, for you'll just keep going in a circle or something, and then it's no longer a yeah. circle. You'll see yeah, him do yeah. multiple of those things, like walking into areas and then immediately turning around and walking out, and it'll just be completely different. Mm -hmm. uh, and I'll try to mention it. But also, those things, getting a single cube in one of those is way more difficult than it oh, should yeah. be, and it sucks. Yeah, yeah, aiming in this game. Famous. Thanks, Alexander Bruce. <laughs> yeah. Here it says, don't look down, and he's going to not look yeah. down. Yeah, uh, if I don't look up there, it actually won't trigger yeah. uh, that to happen. Right. Yeah. And, and if he did look down, then he would fall, and it's a really cool fall, but it but takes it, a while. Yeah, and, and it just also, wastes yeah, time, and it loops no you around. Yeah. And because this is no escape, there would be okay, no so this, real back. Right back. here, uh, that little area that he just jumped over, it actually is way harder to go through that part than it looks. Um, mm -hmm. There's like a... Uh, vortex that sucks you in. Um, I mean, it's then, just an invisible wall shaped like a funnel. Yeah, it, it's, it's, an invis it's a floor up. that's not a real floor. Um, but even worse than that, if you just hold straight, you will get Do sucked into the middle and it'll be bad. Seven. Okay. Yeah, and yeah, that, that would be terrible. Yeah, uh, and those walls that he just dealt with are throughout the, like, the whole game. Basically, the whole point is you just look at it for long enough and it'll open up. Yeah, you just win a staring contest with a wall. Yeah, yeah, that one's actually kind of mean because it's usually the first one you'll see. Yeah. Um, and it takes so long for that one that a lot of people don't act, like will stare at it and won't actually see anything happen before they yeah. run it's out It's the of fastest patience. way to get to this gun, which is mm. why he took and this path, but it, it, it's not obvious that it's a path to this gun. Yeah, Basically, the, the whole point of the guns is obviously to you know use the cubes to solve puzzles. And uh, the final puzzle of the game requires, or at least they wished it required, the final gun. Uh, <laughs> yeah. That's not true. The, um, the red gun is actually not supposed to be optional. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay. Um, yeah, Alexander Bruce has but, confirmed that. Yeah, but basically the whole point is you get all of the guns, and oh, they nice. all have a unique yeah. thing about they're, them. They're all like an upgrade on top of each other. Uh -huh. Speaking of, shout out to Alexander Bruce. Uh, we've talked to him a lot just like about this game and, and speedrunning it and stuff. He's really awesome. and, and so you should support him by buying this game. Yeah. It's an amazing game. And this game is pretty oh. much always incredibly cheap. I cut that a yeah. little. You need uh, three block width here, and I cut that one short every time so far. I'm Do you actually need to clear the one above you? Uh, you need. No, you don't not, need to clear not, that one. Yeah. It's just that that I've been yes, doing. This is a really, really what? wonky thing. Yeah, I don't even. There we go. There you go. I think you have to cut uh, one of them unevenly or something. Yeah. I'm not entirely sure. So if you make a like a square on the wall or something with cubes, then it fills them in, and so that's what he did there, um, and that's what he's going to do here to make an infinite number of blocks. Yeah, cube duplication is a big part of this game. Which yeah. is a mm -hmm. mechanic that exists the entire game, but you're not aware of until about halfway through. Yeah. Right. Uh, yeah. Okay. okay. You're good. So this puzzle can be really <laughs> bizarre sometimes. I think I got it. Yeah, that looked good. Yes. Yeah, first try. Okay. That's good. So what you basically have to do is you have to make sure that all of the cubes disappear, or at least all of the switches become unpressed simultaneously, uh, which is oh, somewhat no, difficult. Fell. That's what he's supposed to do. Yeah. Yeah, so I actually want as many cubes as I can uh, have at this point. Oh, I went slow. Yeah, um, you have to get two okay. at once, otherwise Fine. when the thing re... Uh, uh, okay. okay, you're good. Yeah. Yeah, otherwise when it reforms, it just joins back up. Um, 
That's floor four. That four is significant, but it's not significant when you know what you're doing. Yeah, so basically, uh, that was the tower. It's like this hugely long puzzle in the game, but it's completely optional. Yeah, it's this crazy puzzle to get to the, the final gun. No, he's so this go is why I want as many cubes yeah. as I have, because it's faster to uh, build upwards like this than to just direct the line of cubes upwards. Yeah, you can do this with one cube, but it's like, if you fall mm -hmm. off that one cube, then it's really annoying. Yeah, this yeah. is a lot riskier. Also, so. it's, it's like very marginally faster to actually build up rather than uh, trail. Yeah. And as mentioned, uh, pretty much every single gun has many ways to get to. So um, in a speed run, you're obviously going to go for the fast, fastest route. But in a casual play, the most obvious one is generally the most, uh, the most of one. Yeah. And so now, now he has all the guns. Yeah, this is a really cool glitch. Uh, so that thing around is like a fizzler, if you've ever played um, Portal, that erases things that you mm -hmm. put it. So there's a wall in between two different fizzlers. So what he did was he put down a cube and then directed it into a line of other cubes and then directed that entire line of cubes into the fizzler and basically just destroyed part of the door. Nice. Yeah. Oh, oh, shoot. That was really close. So he's doing no, here. I didn't get it there. He's trying okay. to get basically a super jump. If you land on these pads in a very precise manner, they actually will give you extra height. Um, so what it is is that you need you need at least you basically need a jump and a uh, jump and a half worth there in order to get from that jump pad up to the top. Mm -hmm. um, so what you can actually do um, is if you land on the very edge of a pad, you actually stay on the edge next to it, but the pad still goes down. So you do that and then you immediately drop down onto the pad and you sort of double dip. This Guys, I know there's not much time, but could oh. we get a roll call? Uh, oh, uh, oh, I'm Josh's. I'm test runner. Uber Goose. Um, I'm Marsh running this. So there was another glitch right there. Um, you saw, if you can see, there was a little dip in, uh, in between that first part, and it, that dip is actually, if you just oh, walk straight through, oh no. If you just walk, well, it gives me more time to explain. If you just walk straight <laughs> through that, then there's like a little wall there, but if you walk, uh, and so what you're supposed to do is just jump, and if you jump, then the wall disappears. But uh, if you just walk around the edge and fall down, then you can, yeah. you, you don't need to do the jump. Yeah. jump this room's time. kind of a pain the first time. Yeah. This, this room's a pain every it's time. All, it's, yeah. <laughs> Because you, you have to go fast, but if you actually start running, then the bees will destroy yeah. the entire pathway. So yeah. you, you can't go too fast. Unfortunately, what I did there was um, I went too fast, so I had to jump to the uh, center of the door otherwise, yeah. uh, up because the sides were still there, and I aimed for the sides. So, so this is basically the last puzzle in the yeah, game. Yeah, it's the this second the last escape. room. Yeah. The last room is my favorite room in the game. It's, it's pretty awesome. It's pretty it's rad. bizarre. Yeah. It's really cool. Um, but yeah, right here, uh, so the entire point oh, of I going through something. all of this stuff is just to get cubes, um, and he can actually get cubes way earlier than he's supposed to. Well, not way earlier. Well, it's yeah. pretty significant it's a, earlier. It's like a, a little earlier. So right here, he can steal these cubes. You're not supposed to be able to get these, um, and he might it's, have missed the first few times. It's incredibly precise. It's so it's precise. Not, yeah, it's not pixel got perfect, but it's, it's really close. It's, I don't, I don't know how close it is, but it's very close. Yeah. And so now he has two. Because of the red gun, uh, you can just make them multiply. Yeah. So once you have two, you have an infinite number. Yeah. That's just one of the features of the red gun. Infinite, yeah. just very easily. Yeah. Uh, and there's there is a route for this game uh, called any percent lag glitch, and there's a way basically to lag the game and go through like the last fizzler. Oh, first try. Nice. That was that was actually really good. Yeah. That, that was. Uh, it's a it's a tiny glitch that saves like yeah. ba basically no time. But it's, it's an elevator glitch. Yeah. It's he he the elevator was trying to go up and he was forcing himself to stay down by something that was anchored to the wall. Yeah. And so he was he just was oh. forced onto oh, the on. elevator. I, think I, got one I just need uh, one more. One? One? Uh, just I need a second. It's really, uh, really finicky. So I think what you're supposed to do here is yeah, 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 oh, yeah. completely flood cool. that entire path using the red gun, but you can use yeah. the yellow gun just to direct it over, yeah. and it's much faster. Yep. And then you only need two here, because then you can have an infinite on the other side, an infinite number on the other side. And then you have to go through a gauntlet of doors that you have to put a few yep. cubes in. <laughs> it's, a it's a gauntlet of like the, the, single the, this, this part yeah. of the run is so annoying. Because yeah. it's like, oh, aiming. And oh. Then at, OK, at the end of this, he's going to have the snipe, which is one of these at the end of a hallway that he's going oh, to try to so get hard. as he's going down the hallway so that he can see it. Get it, get it. Yes, yes! he got it. <laughs> Again, saves basically no time. But yeah, I mean, it's really difficult and very impressive. Pretty, pretty much throughout the entire game, you're chasing the hypercube, and which then, he just kind of grabs. Yeah, and the then he can use it to Come on. The cube, sorry. The yeah. And then he gets it and then just jumps on it. So here, uh, he has to wait for this to open. Um, oh, yeah, time on my mark. Yeah, get ready. Yeah, as soon as it hits the. Yeah, this, if I make the shot, this part's in this weird, not, like, warping area, but where. Time, time. 8.59. Nice. Nice. Right. Cut nine. Sub nine.
that's yeah, yeah, we should watch this. Yeah, this I've yeah. seen this is crazy. Nine games over. So yeah. so yeah, that last part, it's actually like a really long winding path that eventually leads you there, but it also wraps. Yeah. Like, so if you jump over the edge, you can just fall forever, which means yeah. you can just jump straight to the end. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'm trying to think, was there anything else we forgot to explain? Probably. I, so. yeah. <laughs> I mean, we didn't really talk about what the guns were, but... Uh, or yeah, it's or like enough. how the yeah. game works in general. <laughs> yeah. I mean, this is a game that you really have to play for yeah, yourself. That's I, true. I highly recommend everyone pick I mean, it up. It's, yeah. it's always really cheap on Steam. It's yeah. like yeah. $2 or something. If, yeah. if you think this was fun to watch or anything, like, please like, just go out and buy it and then just sit yeah. down and immerse yourself in it because yeah. it's so much fun and it's so crazy and you're probably going to have a headache. There's also yeah. like yeah. a lot of like this alternate secret pass and there's yeah. lots of cool things you can do in the game. It's, 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 yeah, like it's how long awesome. you think the game is? Like just to go we, and do we spent everything? eight hours. Yeah, on it. it took us yeah. eight hours. Like yeah. first day came out, we just sat down and spent eight hours. Yeah, yeah. Just you can, right in. Yeah, you get a lot of gameplay out of it, and then it, you can even speed run it. So. Uh, yeah, <laughs> and it's, really it's, it's speed a game. really short speed run. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah it's... The the not no escape route is a little bit more technical, but it's also like terrifying to watch because oh, you're, yeah, you're yeah. just like your camera's Constantly just zipping just, around yeah. all of the time because you're yeah. just going to the back to the map. And I think the longest the longest category for this game is just getting all the signs, which is like 20 yeah, minutes. All, all signs, yeah. It's, yeah. But it's not even all signs because one of the it's all minus one. Yeah, because although isn't it? Didn't they change it so like when I you have get, no idea. when I you get every other sign? No, gives you that he was one planning on that, but then stuff happened. Oh really? Oh yeah, he was unable to update. Yeah, I've never run all signs, but yeah, it looks pretty fun. Alexander Bruce. All right, so this is the credits. Um, and the credits actually crash at the end. Yeah, at the end. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I don't know if that was intentional or not. I think just, it like, was. I kind of was running on the antechamber, just like, just yeah. sucked the whole game in and just gone. Yeah, I don't know. So that's antechamber. Yeah. 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 That's that's the end. Without the escape bar. All right, thank you for that round, Mark. We'll be back after a commercial with Tony Hawk's Underground 2 by Kierno. Thank you. 